Hey guys, welcome back to the MSR Workshop. So glad you could join me today. So you've got that shiny new diode laser that you've always been wanting, and you watched every video online how to put it together. But you're asking yourself, what do I do with it now? Where do I go from there? Well, I'm here today to help start you on your lasering journey, to help come up with some exciting and fun new projects that you may have not thought of before. So stick around and I think you'll enjoy this one. So the sponsor of today's video is Longer, and Longer has sent me one of their Longer Ray 5 10 watt diode lasers. If you'd like to know more about this diode laser or where you can get one, just follow the link below and it'll take you to their website. Now let's get started. If you've looked for a great resource on where you can start your lasering journey, I would recommend number one to start on Etsy. Why Etsy? Because there is tons of laser design files to get you started. So we are going to use one of those files today. And we are going to start out by making a three-dimensional butterfly. And I'll show you what that's going to look like in here in just a second. But what we need to do first is figure out what type of material we are going to be cutting because yes, we are going to be cutting today and we are going to be using six sheets of this MDF type material. Now the material that I am using is about 2.5 millimeters thick. It cuts fantastic, but I will attempt to locate a good source for this for you guys. So, and I will try and leave it in the description below. But what we want to do first on this material is we need to prep it. Now, the reason that we are going to prep it is because we are going to paint it. And whenever you're lasering something, it's a lot easier to first paint your material and then laser it out than trying to paint it afterwards, especially if you're gonna be using fine detailed cutouts. Now, the way we're gonna do this is we are gonna put a base coat of paint down first and then we are going to be painting it with a solid color. The paint that I like to use is this Salvage Black Dog Ultra Matte Paint. The reason I like this is because it dries very, very quickly. It leaves a very smooth base surface for me to do spray paint over. Now, the reason I like to do a base coat first is because then I can cut it out. And also is because when I cut out material, I don't want to paint my edges on this particular project because when the laser cuts it, it leaves a little bit of a black surface, not a charred surface, but a black surface. That little black edge with the painted surface on top is really gonna give it that dimension and that depth to it. If I were to paint all of the edges on this, it really takes away the depth to this project. So let's go ahead and paint our pieces of wood first, and then we'll take these over to the laser. So the next part while we're waiting for our bases to dry is to prepare our material. So I have downloaded a file from the Etsy shop. And just to give you guys a little peek at what this is going to look like, it is going to look something like that, but a lot better, of course. So the first thing that we wanna do is it is going to have a total of five, or excuse me, six cut layers. Now I got this off of Etsy and I will be sure to leave a link where I got this and which files to use on my description below. 
As you can see, layer one, two, three, four, five, and six. Each layer is going to be a different color. Now, this one, they have kind of picked the colors for you, but we are going to pick our own colors today. So we are going to start with, it doesn't matter actually which layer you want to start with, um, but when you are sizing these for your material, you want to make sure you size them all together at once. Because if you don't, then these won't stack up the same because you can enlarge it or make it smaller, but we are going to make it as big as we can. Now this white strip that you see here is actually just me laying my material underneath the camera of my other laser just to kind of give a rough estimate of how big I can get on the material that I have available to me. So really what I did was I just rotated it sideways and then just stretched it until I knew that one butterfly would take up as much space as I could. So once I've gotten the size that I like, I am going to go ahead and move one of these butterflies away. So we're going to kind of work backwards. So we're going to start with the base first and then go from there. So I'm going to cut that one, just don't delete it. And now I've got my first butterfly to work with because we're going to need to do each one one at a time. So now here's the point where you figure out what colors you want it to be. Now one suggestion when you're cutting these is if you are going to make a, something with as most depth as you can, means it's going to stack and kind of show that it's not just a flat looking project, but it actually kind of has some 3D look to it. You're going to want to do what's called a color gradient. So your colors probably in the inside should be darker. As they come out to the top layer, you want to gradually get lighter or vice versa. If you just have a bunch of mixed in colors, which can look good on some projects, but if you want to maximize the depth, you want to start either on a lighter color or a darker color and then work your way out. Most likely it's going to be a dark on the inside, gradually getting lighter as you get to the top layer. And that's going to really give you that depth. Now this is the base layer. This is going to be a solid color. Bringing back in our other butterfly, we can really make that any color that we want. So I'm going to go ahead and start painting my pieces that I've just put the masking on, and that's that black paint. Prior to painting though, I'm going to hit it with some quick sandpaper just to knock down any high and low spots on that paint that I just did, and then we're going to cover them with some different colors of spray paint over the top and then we'll come back and we will start cutting these out. So just giving you a quick idea of the colors that you can use, here is the Etsy example of what they advertise as some of the colors that you can pick. And as you can see, they use vibrant colors. Um, they started with a darker color at the base and then worked out to a lighter color. So the bottom layer, they probably left a black and that gives it the real depth look and then they kind of worked their way out from there. So the last part before we start our lasering project is we need to mask each one of our pieces and the reason we do this is to keep the laser from burning the edges of our piece and also burning the paint that we're putting on so your lines will come out really nice and crisp.
now we just start our lasering process and it's basically just a uh, wash rinse and repeat so this is the very first layer and as the layers get fancier the lasering process takes a little bit longer but you really will start to see what this butterfly is going to start to look like a couple little problems i had while i was lasering the laser stopped partway through on one of these and i found out that my usb cord that i was using was a bit too long so if you have problems with it pausing that's what's happening here is the really fun part where I take off all the tape. Alright guys, that is the end of this particular video. I hope you really enjoyed it. I really did. I think this guy turned out really good. Now, a few little hiccups that I had when I was making this. And this is really a kind of a review of the laser. One, I had problems with the layers cutting out and I found out that when I was cutting, my USB cord was way too long connected to my computer, and so it was losing connection. So the way I solved it was I just downloaded it after doing it in Lightburn to the memory stick, put it in the laser, and it did perfectly fine after that. I suppose if I had gotten a shorter USB cord, then it would have probably done fine as well. Had no problems with the laser actually cutting though. I did double cut everything because the paint layer on this was just a little bit thicker so I did have a little bit extra material to go through and my original settings were and I was cutting through this with nothing on it um, didn't stay the same so you'll maybe have to adjust that and then I also used masking when I was doing that to keep the edges smooth and clean from burning and that also added another layer as well now if there was a step that I forgot or left out be sure and leave them in the comments below but I plan on doing more videos like this in the upcoming weeks I do plan on releasing three more one every week so if you would like to see those be sure and hit the subscribe button and the little bell notification and that'll let you know all the videos that I plan on dropping but also if you would like to know more about the longer ray 5 10 watt diode laser follow the link below if you have any comments questions or suggestions as always leave them because i do read all of them and until next guys thanks again mm -hmm.